you use GitHub from a number of different computers, it's not uncommon for you to encounter a problem when you look at your commit history, whereby you notice that all of the names that you've used to submit commits to GitHub are all slightly different. If, for example, we look at the git log here, we can see that the author here is SP. Here we have stretch projects all one word with no capitalization. And previous commits have always been stretch projects two words, both capitalized. This isn't a huge problem in terms of functionality, but it does make your entire project look more messy. So we can go ahead and clean this up by actually resetting the authors of these commits to the version that we actually want to use. So we can see here that the latest two commits are the ones which have the errors. The thirds from latest and before are all in the correct format. If we press Q to exit the git log, just a word of warning if you're using GitHub as part of a team. This is going to rebase the master branch, which means that every person that's using the project is going to have to take action to actually make sure that they're on the latest version. If they don't take action, they're going to create more problems in the future. And so under normal circumstances, you generally wouldn't do this in a group or collaborative environment. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to rebase the master branch. So that's we're in the position where this last commit is the latest commit. To do that, we simply type git rebase dash i. And we're going to go to the specific point which is head and head represents the most current version of the branch on this machine. We're then going to have a tilde and then three because we want to go back three places. This is going to create a new file for us which is only a temporary file but this is going to tell us that we're going to rebase these three specific commits and this is going to be in the reverse order to how it appeared in the git log screen. So for example, this is the most recent commit, while this is the oldest of the three commits. The oldest of the three commits was fine, it didn't actually have any problems. This was actually the last commit where the author was correct. And so we just need to change the author for these two versions. Now that we've identified the commits that we want to adjust, we can add a new line immediately after them and type exec short for execute and we're going to type git commit dash dash amend dash dash author equals and then we're going to type in the author name as we want it to appear within quotation marks as well as the author within angle brackets we're also going to include the email address We then leave a space and type minus C and then head. So if we copy this entire line and add a new line after this one, we want to do the exact same thing and so this is fine. The command only works one commit at a time and so there's not really a bulk option available to do this. If you save this file however and click on the close button, Git will listen to the file and actually make the changes automatically. And as you can see that's gone ahead and updated the author for us. So if we type gift log now, we can see that the correct name is applied to each of these commits. So these first two were the ones which had the incorrect author details. So if we press Q to exit that. In the next video we're going to look at how we can actually delete commits which we've already published up onto the GitHub repository. Which will actually take advantage of the same or similar commands to what we've just used to change the author name. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss that.